Konnichiwa minasan and welcome to the class in the second lecture series on introduction to Japanese language and culture. So in our last class we were doing this very cute uh, story of the ugly duckling which is Minikui Ahiru no Ko. So we read till the point where the duckling leaves the house. He is very sad and he leaves the house. So what happens now, where he goes, what he does, whom he meets and how finally he changes into a swan, let us see in our lesson today. In the lesson we will also learn new grammar and some expressions. So this is what we had done last time, I am going to read it once again. Aruhi minikui ahiru no ko wa sabishikute uchi wo demashita. He left. Hoka no tori tachi wa ahiru no ko o mite nigemasu. Nigemasu is run away. Run away. Sore o mite minikui ahiru no ko wa yappari watashi wa minikui desu. So, Yappari is as I can see from everybody's comments. Watashi wa minikui desu. Because everybody is running away from me as is seen, as is known, as is expected. To omoimashita, you have done. I think. Nani mo is nothing, nothing, deki nai no de, he could not do anything about it. So, gambatte, well he tried his best and with all strength, tabi is his journey, o suzuke mashita, he continued his journey. Nisan jikan ato, after 2, 3 hours, kuraku narimashita, it became dark, kurai, kuraku natta. Na ru. We have done this form kunaru, it became dark. Chikaku ni chisa na ike ga miemashita. Chikaku is nearby. Chisa na very small. Ike ga pond ga miemashita could be seen. Ahiru no ko wa kowakatta kedo. He was a little scared. Demo kedo, but skarete itakara, skareru, skareru, tired, skarete imashita kara, he was tired, thus therefore because of this reason, soko de, over there, wherever he was and where was he? He was near the ike, which is pond. Soko de, place de, nete shimai mashita. He fell asleep. So we will do this nete shimai mashita just now. It's right here. Nete shimau. Nete shimau. So what is this te shimau verb in te form plus? Shimau, what is it? Well, when something is done which cannot be reversed or there is a feeling of some sadness, of some regret or something that happens on its own. For example, over here he was tired. So the moment he lay down, he slept. It was out of his control. And once that activity is over, then you cannot go back to the previous state. For example, watashi wa keiki o, keiki o tabete shimai mashita. I give this example a lot because it is very simple and easy to understand, something that could happen very practically any day with anyone. There is lot of cake at home, then your sister comes and says, I want to have cake. Keiki wo tabetai. Keiki wa douko? Ara, suimasen. Watashi wa 
tabe te shimaimashita. I have eaten all of it. So, there is nothing left. So, there is also this feeling of ara, why did I not leave something for my sister? So, that regret is there. With te shimau, always you will notice that the action is over and there is some regret of feeling of sadness. So, over there on the kusa, he went, he was very tired and he just slept. Skare te imashita, he was tired. Continuous form te imas, tabe te imas. So, skare te imashita, he was already very, very tired. He was in the state of being tired. Te imashita. Then, mieru, this is potential form, so can be seen. Then Nisanji Kan. So, this is a very typical Nisan Ji Kan, very typical daily conversation, Nichijo Kaiwa, no usage of 2 and 3 together. Ni and San like this. It could be Ji Kan, Nisanji Kan, Nisan Nichi, Nisanka Getsu, Nisan Nen, any of this, Nisan, Nisan Kiro could also be there. Nisan Kiro Ringo o Kaimashita. Nisan Jikan Benkyo Shimashita. Nisan Nichikan Ryoko Shitai. Nisan Kagetsu Nihon ni Itai. Nisan Nen Kan Mai ni Sensei ni Aimashita. So, you can use Nisan like this. Then te ita, same thing over here, tsukare te imashita. Now, totsuzen, all of a sudden, teppo no oto ga kikoemashita. So, he was sleeping all of a sudden, teppo is pistol, no oto ga kikoemashita, could be heard or he heard. Me o sametara, this is a new form which I am going to do with you just now. So, me o sametara, when he opened his eyes, oki na inu wa me no mai kara hashitte ikimashita, another form that I am going to do here. When he opened his eyes, he saw a huge dog just running past him. Ahiru no ko wa Kowakute, he was very, very scared. Nani mo deki nai desu. He could not do anything. This nani should come over here. Nani mo, it is a single word. So, we can have it here. Nani mo deki nai desu. He was so scared. He could not do anything or did not do anything. Furue nagara. Fu, ru, e, ru. Furueru is the verb meaning to tremble. Furue nagara, while trembling, mata once again, kusano aida ni or naka ni, aida is between, in between, and naka is inside, ni meguri mashita. He curled up inside very, very quietly. Meguru is the verb to curl up somewhere. Make a small ball of yourself and hide somewhere. Tsugi no asa. Tsugi is next day. Tsugi no asa. Ahiru no ko wa kowakute doko e mo ikitaku nai desu. He does not want to go anywhere. Doko e mo. We have done this in one of our lessons, probably 30 or 31. Doko e mo. No where. Ikitaku nai, negative of iki tai and iki taku nai. How is it made? Remove the tai again from here, ikita and kunai. You have to put, for example, yomi tai, remove the i and put yomi ta ku nai. I do not want to read. So, negative for tai form. 
verb in type form. Deskara, again this is one word, deskara hitori de soko ni sumu koto ni kime mashita. So deskara, because of this reason, because he was so scared, kowakatta kara, totemo kowakatta kara hitori de alone soko ni numa no chikaku ni sumu koto ni kime mashita. Watashi wa doko e mo ikimasen. Koko ni sumimasu. So, koko ni sumu koto ni kime mashita. He decided. So, let us see what we have here. This is in your script and you have oto, which is sound. You have me. Oto is very simple. This is the kanji for tatsu, tachimasu. Okay, tatsu is the verb, tatsu, tatsu. So simple kanji, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And then if you put a nichi over here, then it is oto. Oto is sound. Ga kikoemashita could be heard. Me of course you know is made like this, me. Then you have oki which is like this. And very close to oki, similar to oki is inu. So similar looking kanji is inu and dai. And there is mai over here, mai and miru. Like me, miru. Then kusa of course we did that day, kusa. So I am trying to use all the kanjis that we have done, aida. Meguri mashita. Tsugi. Tsugi also we did. And tu. Tsugi no asa. So you have a plus, you have nichi, you have a plus again, and then tsuki, which is month, which is asa. Ahiru is also written like this in katakana. A, hi, and ru. Ahiru. Ahiru no ko wa ko. Ko is like this. Ko wa kowakute doko e mo ikitaku nakatta. Iku. Iku is like this. Iku. And then ike. Very, very simple. Ike. Over. So all these kanjis are there. These are simple kanjis. Do them at home. If you don't want to write, at least you should be able to recognize and read them. Now we have tara. What is tara? Verb plus tara. Now, this is a conditional, meaning that there is a condition attached to it. There is a condition attached to this sentence, to this statement. So, well, we can say there are two sentences over here, sentence 1, sentence 2. So, if this happens, then only this is going to happen. This one is dependent on sentence 1. The condition is there that only after this, this can happen. This part cannot take place before S1. So, let us see what it is. So, the sentence was, Me wa sametara. Once he opened his eyes, then what happened? Oki na inu wa me no mai kara. Hashitte ikimashita. This was the sentence over here you can see. Same tara. That means this happened first and then what did he see over there after opening his eyes? Oki na inu wa me no mai kara hashitte ikimashita. So you can see very clearly that this part of the sentence is completely dependent on this one. This cannot happen till this part is fulfilled. So let us see some sentences and I am sure you will understand. Tenki ga yokatta ra sampo ni ikimasu. So when will I go? Only after the tenki is good. Once it becomes good or it is good, then only I will go for sampo. Yokatta ra. If this is not there, I am not doing this activity. So this part of the sentence is dependent on tenki. If tenki is good, I will go. If it is not good, I will not go. 
You can see over here, sensei ni attara kikimasu. So, sumimasen, kanji no kakikata chotto oshiete kudasai. Ah, watashi shiranai desu. Cha daijobu, sensei ni attara kikimasu. Once I meet sensei, after meeting him, I will ask. So, this part again is dependent only on sensei, on meeting him. So, when you meet him, then only you will ask. We have another one over here. Okane ga atta ra uchi o kaimasu. So, once I have money, I will buy a house, which you cannot do if you do not have money. So, only after you have this part, then this is going to come into being or this can happen. So, tara form is a conditional and we will do tara in one of our coming lessons in detail. Now, there was another thing in uh, the story which was te iku. It means to start something or something that is continuing or expresses a continued change in some state. For example, nani mo iwanai de uchi kara dete ikimashita. So, you leave a place, you go out, that continued state can be there for some time to start something, to begin something. So, nani mo iwanai de oni san wa nani mo iwanai de uchi kara from house dete ikimashita. He just left. So, you can see that this change is happening from the house, he is going and he is in that state of leaving the house. Dete ikimasu. Kuruma wa speed o dashite me no mai kara hashitte ikimashita. The kuruma went past me in high speed. So, kuruma wa speed o speed o dashite. Dashimasu is to take out, to remove something from somewhere. For example, I generally say in class, shukudai o dashite kudasai. So, please take out your shukudai. Over here, kuruma wa speed o dashite. Put the foot on the accelerator and me no mai kara hashite ikimashita. It just dashed past me. So, the state of action is continuing. There is a change in state that it was in front of me and then all of a sudden it went past me. Kodomo wa gakko made mainichi aruite ikimasu. Sote ikimasu. Go. Aruite iku. Sote ikimasu expresses a continued change in state. From home you start and you go to your gakko. I know it may be a little difficult to use initially, but at least if someone uses it, you know exactly what they are saying. Now, we come back to our story. Dan dan fuyu no samui hi wa haru no atatakai hi ni kawari mashita. Dan dan gradually fuyu, fuyu is winter no samui, cold winter days wa warm spring warm spring days ni kawari mashita changed kawaru is the verb then minikui ahiru no ko mo oki ku narimashita oki ku ku naru to become kisetsu ga kawatta no de kisetsu is the weather the season ga kawatta no de achi kochi kara from here and there ike ni takusan tori mo kimashita lot of birds came to the pond ahiru no ko wa mainichi ike no hoka no tori tachi to issho ni oyogi nagara asobimasu so this is another form so every day he was swimming and playing with all the other birds mainichi is every day Ike no hoka no other tori tachi to issho ni together with oyogi nagara. O yo gu is the verb which means swim. 
asobi masses to play. So, I will do the Nagara form just now. There are a few kanjis, simple kanjis like fuyu, simple. These difficult kanjis you may leave, you only have to recognize. So, do not have to bother, miru is there, ko is there. Simple ones, mainichi, ishoni, I have done these, tori and kuru and ike. So, you can just go over these kanjis. Then dan dan, I told you just now, gradually. Minasan no nihongo wa dan dan jōzu ni natte kimashita. Dan dan jōzu ni narimashita. Both are correct. Meaning is different. Ni kawaru to change. So, kono hana wa or ahiru no ko wa kirei na hakucho ni kawari mashita. He changed into a beautiful swan or narimashita. Both are correct. Kunaru, I just now told you to become ringo wa akaku narimashita. Ringo wa Akaku nari mashita. So, we have done this form in detail in your 8th week or 9th week. So, you can check over there and see how it is done with akai nagai. Remove the i and put ku naru means to become akaku nari mashita. It has become red. Nagaku narimashita. It has become long. We come back to our story. Aruhi one day, toku kara from very far. Toku kara kirei de. We have done this form as well. Na adjective plus using another adjective. So, when you join the two, then you do it with de. Kirei de utsukushi tori tachi ga tonde kimashita. De came. Ahiru no ko wa imama de anna kirei na tori o mita koto ga nakatta desu. So, he had not seen such a beautiful tori till now. So, anna this type of, this type of, this kind of tori. Mita koto ga nakatta desu. Verb in ta form plus koto ga aru. Never had the opportunity to see such a beautiful tori. Ima made till now. Sore wa donna tori ka shira? Watashi mo ano tori tachi to isho ni oyogitai na? Demo dame desu ne. Watashi wa Minikui da kara, demo ikitai ne, to omoimashita. So omoi nagara, ahiru no ko wa yuki o dashite, sono tori tachi to hanashi mashita. Now what does this mean? So he is just thinking over here in this, talking to himself. Sore wa donna tori ka shira? What kind of tori? What type? of kind of tori kashira so this is a sentence ending particle you could say very colloquial donna tori kashira i'm thinking myself i'm talking out aloud so watashi mo ano tori tachi to issho ni oyogitai watashi mo ano tori tachi to issho ni oyogitai na i also want to mo is also I also want to go and swim, want to swim with those birds. Ano tori tachi. Why ano over here? Because the fact that those tori tachi are already there in the pond with him and we know of it. Thus, ano tori tachi. The existence of those stories is known to the listener and the speaker both. Thus, ano tori tachi to issho ni oyogitai na. So, na is a particle where you, you show desire that I want to 
do this. Intonation is rising. Now, and very, very colloquial. This is just to show you that these particles are there and this is how they speak. But for us as foreigners, it is always better to use the mass form. Demo dame desu ne. And again, he is thinking and talking to himself. Demo dame desu ne. But I think it is not a very good idea. Watashi wa minikui dakara. I am not very good looking. These birds are so beautiful and I am ugly to look at. That is what everybody has been telling him so far. That is what he has been hearing all along. So, he started believing that he is not very beautiful, he is ugly. So, watashi wa minikui dakara. I am ugly dakara. Demo watashi wa ikitai ne. Even though I am ugly, I still want to go, I still want to be with them, I still want to swim with them. He is thinking. To omoi mas. So kangai nagara. And then he thinks for a while and then so kangai nagara. In this manner, kangai nagara. Like this, kangai nagara. Thinking like this, while thinking like this, ahiru no ko wa yuki o dashite. All of a sudden, he gained lot of confidence and shed all his fears and then sono tori tachi to hanashi mashita. He talked to the tori tachi. Now, what does te kuru mean? Well, we just did te iku. So, te iku means when something goes away from you. We had this example earlier, oni san wa uchi o dete Ikimashita. Nani mo iwanai de uchi o dete ikimashita. So, he moved away from the speaker. He went away from the speaker. So, over here what is happening? Just the opposite. Go and come. For example, you have done this phrase, itte kimas. So, I will go and come back. So, do whatever you have to do and then come back. So, come towards the speaker is what it means. It is just the opposite of te iku. In te iku, you go away from the speaker and there is a continuous change. Over here, you come towards the speaker or you show that you are going to come towards the speaker and then again there is continuous change. You will see from the examples. Chotto kaimono wo shite kimasu. I will just go and do my kaimono, my shopping and come back. So, shite kimasu. Just wait for a while over here. Kaimono shite kimasu. I will do the kaimono, whatever activity over there and then I will come back. Kyu ni ame ga futte kimashita. So, all of a sudden it started to rain. So, ame came over here. So, towards the speaker. It moved towards the speaker. So, all the time it is not just about movement that something is actually moving. It is about change. Something has happened all of a sudden is the meaning. Then we also had mita koto ga aru. Verb in ta form plus koto ga aru. What does it mean? Koto you have done, koto means thing, not something as in some material thing, but well some activity or action. So, ta koto ga aru. Now, a very simple example, I am sure you will remember. Minasan nihon ne itta koto ga arimasu ka? Nihon ni or e. Koto ga arimasu ka? Have you had the opportunity to go to Japan? Itta koto ga. So, verb is always in ta form. Have you had the opportunity? Have you ever been there? This is a form koto ga aru. So, verb in ta form you can use plus koto ga arimasu ka to ask. Now, let us see the examples. It is right here. 
日本に行ったことがありますか Have you been to Japan ever? 肉を食べたことがありますかドイツ人に会ったことがありますか会ったこと。Have you met a German ever? 英国へ行ったことがありますか前に日本語を勉強したことがありますか Have you ever studied Japanese earlier? So, 寿司を食べたことがありません。I have never had sushi before. 寿司を食べたことがありません。I've never had the opportunity to have sushi. So, I think ことがあります is also clear now from these very simple examples. I have done it in detail in your lessons. So, you can see over there. Practice from there. Then again, Watashi is there, Tori, Ima, Kodomo, Issho ni ikimasu. Watashi ni san pun. Ni san and pun. Miru, kuru, asobu, hanashi. You can do the simple ones, leave the difficult ones completely. Now, there was kirei de. So, na adjective plus another na or i adjective. So, how will you join by de meaning and. So, Mariko san wa kirei de kashkoi desu. She is beautiful and she is also very intelligent. Or kono kikai wa benri de tsukai yasui desu. So, benri de na adjective. Benri and tsukai yasui. What does tsukai yasui mean? Well, tsukai mas su kau i mas. Tsukai mas. Remove the mas form from here and put yasui. What does it mean? Yasui doesn't mean cheap over here. Yasui means easy. So, it is tsukai yasui. It is easy to use. Easy to use. Tsukai yasui. All you need to do is to remove the mass form from here and put yasui. Similarly, you have another word which is nikui, which is difficult. So, tsukai nikui. There are certain machines which are difficult to use, which are not easy to understand. So, then tsukai nikui desu. For example, there are so many mobiles and there are some which are easy to use and some which are very mendoksai or difficult to use. So, then kono mobile wa tsukai nikui desu cannot use it that easily. Kono application wa tsukai nikui desu. Wakari nikui desu. Wakari mas. So, you can remove the mas, put nikui, nikui or yasui. So, yasui is wakari yasui desu and wakari nikui is it is difficult. So, same is the case with a lot of forms over here. Some are easy to understand, some are a little difficult. So, wakari nikui desu, wakari yasui desu. Now, there is a kanji here, this one, which is benri and like this. And then ri is this plus benri, ben and Ri, ben ri. This is the ri part. Then a similar looking kanji is this one, which is skau, which is like this. This one, make a dash over here, this kuchi, and then like this and this. So these two are very, very similar. Try to remember that. So there are a lot of forms today. Then ni narimashita, you know, noun ni naru 
and adjective ku naru. So, takaku naru and sensei ni naru. Shorai sensei ni naritai. I want to become a teacher in the future. And ringo wa takaku narimashita. So, this is how you will make the narimashita form and narimas means to become. With I adjectives it is ku, with noun it is ni. With na adjectives also it is ni because noun and na adjectives follow a similar pattern. So, mariko san wa, san wa kirei ni nari ma shita. So, ni over here. Then anna, this type of anna koto watashi wa shimasen, anna koto shiranai. Then kirei na I just told you, donna is which one? Anna shigoto watashi wa shimasen, that kind of, that type of shigoto watashi wa shimasen. Donna hito desu ka? What kind of a person is he? Then kashira. Now talking to yourself, Tanaka san wa doko ni itta kashira? Kashira is when I am not sure. I am just thinking, speculating where could he have gone? Then just very colloquial, that is all. It is similar to doko e ikimashita ka, rising intonation. So, doko e ikimashita ka, doko e itta kashira, informal. Then, verb tai is want. Watashi wa amerika e ikitai. Yuki o dashite, with all his strength, with all his stamina, with all his confidence, he went forward. Yuki o dashite. Ima made, till now. Ima made atta koto arimasen. Then, watashi wa minna no yo ni kire janai kedo, nakama ni irete kuremasen ka? Or, nakama ni irete kuremasen? You can remove the ka part and because it is informal, masen with a rising intonation and meaning will be the same. So, watashi wa mina san no yo ni like you all. Kirei janai kedo, I am not so beautiful as you people, but nakama ni in your group, irete kuremasen ka, very, very humble. Please, won't you add me in your group? Won't you take me as your friend? So, what do all of them say? Mochiron yo, anata wa watashi tachi to onaji desu yo. So inagara, while saying this, hakcho wa, hakcho is swan wa, ahiru no ko no hane o, hane is wings o, kuchibashi, beak, de, with the beak, toto no e mashita, try to ruffle or maybe settle, try to show some affection by fixing ahiru ko no hane, which is wings. Toto no e mashita, like it is doing over here. Then kirei na hane desu ne. So, the hakcho says kirei na hane, you have beautiful feathers. Hane is wings. So, try to brush its wings and its feathers. Kirei na hane desu ne. Your feathers are very, very beautiful. Kore kara anata wa watashi tachi to issho da yo. Kore kara from now onwards. Anata you watashi tachi to issho with us. Da yo des yo. Plain form for this is da and yo is informal because they are older. So, jitsu wa now the narrator is saying jitsu wa. Anotori wa minna hakcho datta, they were all swans. Ahiru no ko wa ureshikute shinjirare masen deshita. Could not believe his luck. Shinjirare masen is unbelievable, could not believe it. 
then yoni like you. Okaasan no yoni hanashite kudasai. Okaasan no yoni hanashite imasu. So, I have done this yoni in the previous part of uh, ahiru no ko. You can see over there, it means like. Sensei no yoni okotte imasu. Sensei no yoni. Like sensei okotte imasu. Mariko wa. Mariko is calling everybody just like sensei. Then again, you can read this in the script. Minasan, watashi, kyo, shinjiru, tori. I have done all these kanjis with you in class, so you can go over those. So over here, ara, watashi wa minasan to onaji da. Ahiru janakute, hakucho da, yokatta ne, mo kanashiku nai desu. Yosh. So, again, the bird is talking to itself. Watashi wa minasan to onaji desu. Ahiru janakute, I am not ahiru, I am not a duck. I am a swan. Yokatta, that is really good. Mo kanashiku nai desu. I am not kanashi any more. Mo no imi wa more. Yosh. Well, with all happiness and strength, mo shimpai suru koto wa arimasen. I do not have to worry again any more. Shimpai is worry. Suru koto wa arimasen. So, we did koto just now. Koto verb ta koto. Now, suru koto in plain form. Suru koto wa arimasen. I do not have to worry any more. Sono ato ahiru no ko wa hane o hirogete. Spread its wings like here and atarashi kazoku to isho ni with his new family. Sora o tonde jibu no nagai tabi o hajime mashita. Jibu no is oneself no nagai tabi a long journey o hajime mashita. Sora o tonde flew across the sky to begin its long journey. So, mo as I told you is already. Mo rokuji desu, we have done mo also a number of times. So, I am sure it is very clear. Shimpai suru koto, just now I told you not to worry any. Worry now and then tabi is journey. So, these are some of the words and some grammar which we have revised over here. Again, you have a lot of kanji characters. Ato is there, atarashi, jibun, nagai, kazoku, ishoni, so many of them. So, we have done them so many times. I am sure you will be able to recognize them now and maybe some of them you may even be able to write and I am sure you will be able to write the story on your own also. So, this is your uh, vocabulary, go over the vocabulary. Now, I will read the story to you and you listen to it carefully. I am sure you will be able to understand all the forms covered and especially now as I have already explained each and every form in detail. So, this will help in your hearing also, your hearing abilities will improve as you will try to catch the verbs and the different grammar that is there in the story. So, listen to the story very carefully. Aru mura no chikaku no numa ni ahiru no okaasan wa ni san shukan mae kara tamago o atatamete imashita. Aru hi tamago kara kawaii hyoko tachi ga omare mashita. Demo hitotsu no tamago dake wa mada desu. Ano tamago dake kara kodomo wa omarete imasen. Okaasan ahiru wa shinpai deshita ga nani mo dekinai no de gambatte tamago o atatame ni suzuke mashita. Tsugi no hi ni yatto tamago kara hyoko ga omare mashita. Okaasan ahiru wa totte 
ってもうれしかったです。アヒルの子は他のひよこたちより大きいです。羽の色も違うので他の鳥たちはいじめたけどお母さんはかわいいと思います。そしてみんな同じように育ています。アヒルの子はみんなお母さんから泳ぎ方を習ったけど醜いアヒルの子はできなくて悲しかったです。あの子を見て他のお母さん鳥はあの子はアヒルの子じゃないわきっと七面鳥の子だよと言っていました。何も言わないでお母さんは真剣に子供を育てました。でも兄弟たちと他の鳥はいつもあの子をいじめて仲間に入れませんでした。醜いアヒルの子と一緒に遊ばなかったしご飯もあげなかった。ある日醜いアヒルの子は寂しくてお家を出ました。他の鳥たちはアヒルの子を見てすぐ逃げます。醜いアヒルの子は「やっぱり私は醜いです」と思いましたそう思いながら旅を続けましただんだん季節が変わりました冬の寒い日は春の暖かい日になりました醜いアヒルの子も大きくなりました毎日池の他の鳥たちと一緒に泳ぎます。ある日、きれいで美しい鳥たちが飛んできました。アヒルの子は今まであんなきれいな鳥を見たことがなかったです。それはどんな鳥かしら私もあの鳥たちと一緒に泳ぎたいなあ。そう思ってアヒルの子は雪を出して、その鳥たちと話しました。私は皆さんのようにきれいじゃないけど、仲間に入れてくれませんもちろんよ。あなたは私たちと同じですよ。そう言いながら、白鳥はアヒルの子の羽をくちばしで整えました。きれいな羽ですね。今日からあなたは私たちと一緒だよ。実はあの鳥たちはみんな白鳥だった。アヒルの子は嬉しくて信じられなかった。私はみんなと同じだ。私はアヒルじゃなくて白鳥だ。よかったね。私はもう悲しくないです。よし、もう心配することはありません。その後アヒルの子は羽を広げて新しい家族と一緒に空を飛んで自分の長い旅を始めました。以上です。So with this, we come to an end to our lecture here today. We have done Minikui Ahiru no Ko. So you have also heard it just now. And I hope you were able to understand most of it. As I have already done the explanation. As I told you earlier, this story was written by one of my students who did the class exactly like you. So now, as I have done the explanation, you can also write the story in your own words. Maybe not so long, but at least try to write about 10, 15, 20 lines and try to tell the story in your own words. So, with this, I finish over here and we will meet in our next class. Come prepared, we are going to do conditionals. Thank you very much. Arigatou gozaimashita, mata aimashou.